Hello Steve White, Trick White 89 for Steve Outs 89. Um, it's a rainy night here in Melbourne and I was just thinking about some stuff and please don't think I'm defending Star Trek Discovery or Star Trek Picard but um, I've kind of become aware of the snobbery of science fiction. Um, I was watching uh, a podcast by Robert Meyer Burnett and there's been a few times where he's pointed out that science fiction is a literary genre and I'm like not really. Um, I know it started off that way, like many genres did, but um, it's spread over many different mediums now. It's TV, it's movies, it's games, it's um, comics, it's traditional literature, and you can't hold all those shows and all those movies and all those other mediums to ransom to you know the old sort of literary values. Um, it is elitist, it is snobbish, and um, it kind of bothers me because I, I mean I'm watching shows like Discovery and Picard and they've got huge flaws yes but um some of the things they've been criticized for aren't um aren't as bad as the sort of being shown as I mean the shows are more science fantasy than science fiction yes there is that but a lot of the criticisms are that they don't fit the literary science fiction mold, like the real, like they don't stick to the old, um, the, all, all of the things that were defined by the old novels and the old writers and that, and there are elements that should be maintained, I guess, but um, at the same time, we should be able to do things that are just visual, or things that are just emotional, or things that are just people, things for people to react to and experience, rather than think about and process and talk through and um, have it all explained. It, it is okay sometimes to just do things because it's cool and it looks good and it's a thrill. Um, in visual mediums and TV media and stuff like that, that's not always bad because you know you don't have the time um, to explain it and talk through it like you do in a novelization or, or a story. So I just think there's a bit of snobbery there and I just wanted to comment on it for a minute because I do think it's a bit unrealistic to judge all these other mediums and how, how their science fiction operates under you know the traditional science fiction um, definition. And I have read a little bit of science fiction when I was growing up, of course, but I haven't had the time to read much lately. I usually get my science fiction through TV. Um, and there is a feeling, I guess, of um, insecurity that maybe I don't know science fiction as well because I haven't read. And, and, th and that's sort of the, the snobbery and the prejudice, like that if, oh, if you haven't done this, you're not worthy, you can't question us, we can criticise you, but you can't question us because we know better because we, and it's, it is an elitist thing, and I don't think it holds up totally, like, I mean, it's one thing to compare, you know, new novels to old novels, but to compare TV series and comics and games and stuff with novels, it's, it's unfair, so I just wanted to say that, I, it came into my head and I thought, I could do a video on that. Um, but I have to do some real research to make it a bit longer than this. I'm surprised I got to three minutes. I thought I was only a minute or two into it. Um, but yeah, feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, like I said, I'm not defending Discovery or Picard, but um, I do think that trying to hold, you know, visual medium and other media to the standards of a literary definition of a genre, or um, well, the original definition of a genre before you know things changed and things evolved is a bit unrealistic and I think it's a way to actually put down and um, you know um, what's the term not denounce um, yeah, basically it's, it's used to to um, demean these these shows and, and current sort of science fiction shows and um, yeah it's, it's 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 sort of being used I think as a bit of a weapon um, in some ways but um yeah I'm gonna go Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Do you actually agree with me? Do you think that they, you know, they are being unfair to current day science fiction? Is it as bad as people are saying, critics are saying, or are they just enjoying the superiority of feeling like I know more about science fiction? Science fiction. I can't even speak because I read this book and that book and this classic and this original, and and that somehow, you know, means other people's imaginations and visions don't count because, you know, they don't fit into those sort of categories. And it is a very small-minded thing to say, well, I need to put this 
this thing, this genre, this, this something in a box where it's de you know defined and contained and known and then I can be secure and I don't have to think, I don't have to have an open mind, I have to learn because it's all sorted, we know it and we can sit back and judge everything by that you know knowledge that we sort of you know it's it's just distasteful um, and I would just like people to relax and the snobbery to end. Um, I'd also like the writing to improve on some shows but I think it's okay that they are a visual medium and they are just for entertainment. It's not the end of the world as long as it's done well and they're not done well but yeah. I'm gonna go, I'm really gonna go this time.